think about that? Counting down the mall and the feelings. Always been the one to be the realest. What you think about that? Never ever worry about the drama. I'm just getting to the zeros and the commas. What you think about that? I'm a boss bitch, so I do what I want to. Push whips, hit chips, that's what a boss do. Only making boss moves, yeah. Getting to the money like a lawsuit. What you think about that? Counting down the mall and the feelings. Always been the one to be the realest. What you think about that? Never ever worry about the drama. I'm just getting to the zeros. Yo, 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 it's your boy Mario Glover, and we back with another one. Our special guest today, we got Kelsey Lynn in the building. What up, though? What's well, good? Appreciate <laughs> you for coming through, man. No problem. You Thank you for busy, having me. You a busy, busy woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn, man. That's what's up, man. Yep. Let's jump right into it, though. Tell us a little bit about Kelsey. A um, background. Okay. Well, I'm from Lansing, Michigan. Um, I uh, started doing music. Oh, yeah, my bad. You good? Um, I started doing music, like, really kind of figuring out that that was my passion when I was very young. Mm. Um. So obviously a huge part of me is music and that's who I am. Um, but I come from a family that, I don't know, kind of dysfunctional, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <normally. laughs> you ever seen the show Shameless? Yeah. Oh, Something man. similar to that. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, you know, music was just kind of like always a way for me to escape all the bullshit in my life. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Wait, I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Um, yeah, you know, um, I sing, I songwrite, I rap, I dance, I do everything. All right, the Skits. Whole, the whole nine yards. Yep. So, like, like, what kind of music do you, like, do? Like, I know you write and everything, but, like, what music do you do? Um, I tend to stick more to, like, I mean, we call it, I guess, pop trap because my hooks are like very on the pop side yeah. but then my verses are just like 16 bar just me spitting right. so <laughs> yeah I'm playing. Yep. that's what's up like i was telling you earlier i remember seeing you perform at common ground and yeah. just you know just seeing like the progress and everything like that that shit dope so we you know every, everybody needed to know yeah so like what you got planned like tell us a little bit about what you got planned like in a, the near future like coming up so um here in a couple of weeks i will be performing in flint um at a cannabis festival um put on by my good friend sapo <laughs> mm -hmm. um no, actually, I just met Sapo, but he's really cool. He's given me a lot of good opportunities. Um, so that's in a couple weeks. Then I'm going to be going out to Vancouver and to Seattle, Washington. Yep. Um, and then after that, I'm going to do the 420 Festival in Lansing, Michigan. Yep. Back doing all that, all that and coming back. Yep. Dang, that's yep. a short period of time. Yep. So like do you get paid to like do like certain shows and things like that? Yeah, um, this is my full-time job. This is the only thing that I do um, I've been blessed enough to you know get put into certain opportunities and situations that have had me grow as an artist and You know just kind of build a fan base to where it does bring people out, you know, so um, You know, I'm getting paid for this mm -hmm. um so I'm very thankful for that. Right, that's what's up. Yeah. Because I mean, I, I just don't always start like that. You know what I'm saying? So, no. of course, my next question to you is like, tell us about some struggles you had, like when you first started, like some. So when I first started my career, I'm not even gonna lie, like my self confidence was at like oh all time low. Um, you know, and I was just I knew that I loved music. I had always wrote songs. I had even recorded before you know what I mean but I didn't really know like who I was as an artist and how I was gonna tell my story so that was the biggest struggle to get over coming in to like making this a career really building my confidence and just really putting myself out there for everybody to see me for me right. um but you know I am an independent artist so that does come with a lot of struggles not saying that being with a label doesn't <clears throat> but the independent grind and anybody who's been on the independent grind who's an artist you know they understand like it's hard because there's a lot of sacrifice that comes in with it you know i have children so like it's taken a lot of time away from my kids you know and mm -hmm. 
I mean, just as any other job would, you know, growing in any company, but um, I guess one of the biggest struggles that I've had so far is just really like, you know, I guess just trying to prioritize my time and figuring out different ways of this industry on how I can be heard by more people. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, when I first started, like I didn't know really what I was even bringing to the table. Because right. um, it was kind of like, you know, I knew that I had this passion and I knew that I had a story, but it was more so of like, how can I deliver this to people in a sense of showing them who I am right you know because right. a lot of people wonder that like well who is this girl you know she's doing skits with this dude mm -hmm. and she's you know writing and she's doing these pictures modeling like who are you you know so it took me a minute to like really kind of get my shit together yeah. and just like build a brand so that was one of the biggest struggles Kelsey Lynn music man shout out yep. to her you know what I'm saying <laughs> For real. Yep. Talking about them skits, man. I be seeing them skits. It's so hilarious, man. Yeah. Hilarious, man. It's like funny TV all over again. Yeah. Well, it was funny because, like, you know, I had, I had obviously had friends that were doing this thing, the whole skit thing and comedy. And I've always kind of been, like, a goofy person at heart. And I always, like, people would catch me doing the stupidest shit. And, you know, Tony was like, well we should start putting this on camera. And this was during the pandemic and everything had slowed down. You know, I wasn't doing shows obviously because, you know, everything was shut down. So I was like, all right, well, we can write, we can record, we can make more music, but how do we broaden the audience with using my other talents and doing different influential things? So that's how I got into the skit making. Yep. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. <laughs> how, how, how did you, uh, when did you meet uh, Big Gooch? So, <laughs> I met Gucci Berry last year. And it's actually funny because the first time I ever seen him was with Diamond, Diamond Jones. Yeah. And I was like, who is this big ass goofy dude with Diamond? <laughs> like, and how does Diamond know this man? And uh, I think it was a music video that they had done. And then bounce back like months later and somehow we had got connected on Instagram, I believe it was. And we were just like, we just decided we wanted to work together. So he came to my house one day with his manager and we just spent the whole day just shooting content. Oh <laughs> shit, that's what's so up. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Man, cause I, I, I seen so many different ones. I'm like, man, that's what's up. You know, working yeah. as a team and stuff. Cause I seen him before too. Yeah. Like in the L's, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, uh, it's funny cause like me and him, I feel like we've created great content and it's, I don't know, it's funny because like I, I never in a million years when I first saw him thought that like we'd be working together the way we do now. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what's up, man. So yeah. like some of them shows that you do in Vegas and stuff like that, like tell us about some of those experiences. So going out of state is probably like one of my favorite things to do, like as far as performing. I love performing in front of new people, obviously, because I'm gaining a new fan base, but not just that, like, it's just the whole experience, you know what I mean? It's an honor to see that, well now anyways, that like promoters <laughs> are seeing my movement and they're seeing my fans and they're hearing my music and they're interested in even booking me, you know? so. Um, going out of state though, I mean, we've had some crazy stuff, like... <laughs> right, let's, let's hear some experience. Oh boy. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's just like, like when we were on tour, um, me and my girl Lika and Tony, just all three of us, like, we hit the road and, you know, like, when we were in Times Square, uh, like, me and Lika, we act completely crazy and people probably think we're insane but jumping on top of like boxes that are stacked up on the side of the road and garbage like <laughs> when Lika jumped into the garbage pile oh man and like 
I don't know, it's just, it's crazy. Like, we just went to Vegas. Um, I've been to Vegas, like, every month this year. And, you know, uh, when me and Gucci Berry were out there, we, uh, <laughs> we had everybody out there, like, kicking him in the nuts and stuff like that out on Fremont Street. So, just That's little like stuff like crazy. that. <laughs> I don't know, who, who does that, right? Yeah, listen, I was like, dog, and it's like so many of them, so it's like, oh, this nigga got the nuts of steel, God. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man, that's a sub. Yep. The Vegas scene, like, I mean, Vegas is a fun place. Yeah, I done been yeah. there a few times, and it's just like the, you know what I'm saying, the perform in Vegas and stuff, yeah. like watching them old school movies. Like, they used to love to try to get to Vegas to perform, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, you know, that was the other thing that I was going to say. Like, the first time I had ever went to Vegas, um, it was right around the time when I first started doing, like, making this into my career. And I just remember looking at, like, the side of Dreyas and seeing, like, you know, Fabulous's picture and then Nelly's picture and all these people who, you know, had a residency out there. And I was like, man that would be so cool to perform here and then it's just crazy because like fast forward and Your dreams come true now i'm performing there <laughs> yeah that's what's up yep that's what's up so what's some short-term goals you got for you well for me personally um you know it's just more so of like getting this album that i just did which shout out to lakaz from Kaz dramatic um he produced this whole album for me and you know we kind of just been working as a team to like really push out good music and just do numbers with it and show everybody our talent but as far as short term goes I would say just really trying to focus on this album I'm really trying to take everything one day at a time and prioritize my time correctly um, so that I guess that would be another short term goal for me because being an independent artist like you don't really have anybody from a label, you know what I mean, scheduling things for you or saying, okay, you know, you got to go to hair and makeup at this time, but you have to perform at this time. Like, you have to keep track of all your own shit. Yeah. Not just that, but even, like, you know, your sales, your number, everything you're yeah. doing on your own. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to see a little bit of the experience, but I can only imagine for you. Yeah. In real talk. Yep. So, the more big, a question I was asked by a friend last night, like, where do you see yourself in five years? I'm going to be a mil uh, well over a millionaire. I'm claiming it. Yeah. Um, I told myself that I would be the top selling artist consecutively for at least 10 years. Um, I'm going to start getting into clothes. I'm going to have my own clothing brand and my own store. Um, and this is something recently, you know, that I just decided that I want to do because I love fashion and I always have. Mm -hmm. um, but in five years, you know, I'm going to be living out my dreams. I'm going to be basically like Russ's movement. That's what, something I inspire to do, be like one of the biggest independent artists ever. That's what's so up. That's what's up. So tell us about some of your albums. Like, what's one of your albums that you've done, like, that was, like, heart and soul for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you right. had to, like, you you know what I'm saying? You put a lot of work and dedication into it. This one. This is the only album I've ever did. This first one that oh, I nice. just dropped. So yeah. Oh, okay. So, and the reason why it means so much to me, I mean, obviously, because me and Lakaz worked all winter long on it, and we really, like, dug deep into every little thing and analyzed everything to make sure that it was exactly how we wanted it to be and how we thought it was going to, you know, be appealing to the audience. Right. Um, That's your heart. Yeah. That's your fire. Yeah. I swear. Um, thank you. Um, but, you know, it's... It's it's been a long road. I can't even lie. Like this this album though, I think it really showcases like who I am, not just as an artist, but as a person. I have one of the songs on there called Be the One and that was like really one of the first songs that I had ever put out and like really exposed my past and where I come from and the shit I've been through. Yeah. So, you know, this album means a lot. It does. 
That's what's up, man. Yeah. Make sure y'all go tap in, man. Kelsey Lynn Music is on yeah. all streaming platforms. All of them. Man, for real, man. I'm sure she doing features and everything, but she busy, so you gotta tap in. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you got the ticket. Yep. But that's what's up, man. Before we get out of here, though, you got anything you want to tell, like your fans, anybody else, or anything like that besides your album, like any upcoming projects or something you want to talk about? Um, yeah, you know, my album, everybody go stream it, share it, all that good stuff. Um, not just because I want to do numbers, but I say this because I genuinely think that people are going to be able to relate to it, mm -hmm. you know, and people are going to enjoy it. Yeah. Um, you said you so, put your heart and soul into it, and you, like you said, this one. Yeah. So, shit, you got me ready to, after we get done, we'll just go listen to stuff. Because it's <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said this one, you made show. So yep, yep. Sure so, it's streaming everywhere. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Spotify. I have my own Pandora station. Um, uh, Instagram and TikTok at Kelsey Lynn Music. You know, if you guys are looking for funny skits or just comedy in general, my TikTok is really where it's at. Um, so yeah, and uh, shout out to all my fans because obviously as an independent artist, like you need your fans. You would not be nothing without your fans. So shout out to the people who support me. I really appreciate it and yeah. That's what's up. The grind yeah. don't stop with Kelsey Lee. Yeah. I'm not playing. You got yeah. any advice for <clears throat> another woman, like, rap artist or another woman artist that's trying to be independent? Like, what would you tell her or him or whoever it would be for the start of it? Yep. Do not settle. Do not settle. Get exactly what you want out of this shit because... Nobody is going to go and get anything for you. Nobody is going to hand anything to you and you deserve it. So if music is something you're passionate about, go for that shit and don't let up. I mean, I know it's hard for every like independent artist anyways, but especially women, I feel like because, you know, it's been a recent thing with women coming up in the rap game. I mean, you know, we had like Lil' Kim and Foxy and, you know, we also like Lauren Hill made such a big mark, you know, in music, but you can be literally anything you want in this life. You just have to claim it, work for it, and just keep going. Keep yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what's up, man. Make sure y'all tap in again yeah. on all streaming platforms. Um, for real, music, music hot, man. I seen her do some freestyles and everything, man. It got me going, that's what I'm saying. I was like, yes. I just want to say one more thing, too. Um, I want to also give recognition to the other artists that are here in this city mm -hmm. because, you know, recently I've kind of been, like, listening to everybody more now that I've kind of got my album done and had some, like, a little bit of downtime. Mm -hmm. And... I was just listening to like all the artists from Lansing and it's like there is so much talent here. There is a lot of talent here oh, yeah. and you know shout out to all the artists here and you know let's support each other. For real let's, man. Let's, let's put Lansing on the map. You heard of that 420 <laughs> festival coming up. It's a lot of yep. artists there man. Make sure y'all everybody get your tickets. Everybody go you know go check them out. Yep. Yes man before we get out of here though. How did the game make you? How did becoming uh, a music artist, a rapper, a songwriter, like how did it make Kelsey Lynn who she is today? Um, mm, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Okay. Music showed me a lot of things. It showed me boundaries. It showed me more of who I was things that I didn't even know about myself. Mm. Um, music has a very good way of exposing the good and the bad of every artist who does this, you know, mm. but music has honestly saved my life. It it really has. It's That's everything for me. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, as you can see, man, Kelsey is very humble and very proud of where she is today and very blessed, you know what I'm saying? So. That's what's up. Make sure y'all tap in to Game Made Me. Go like, subscribe, share, tell a friend. Uh, refer the next person, man. Send them my way. Let's get them in here, man. Let's get to know the next people. Yep. Peace.
Peace. Peace. <laughs>